Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of my little series of going from 0 gold to 100 million gold. So first of all, I just want to say thanks for you guys really liking the last two videos. So you've done a lot of obviously liking, commenting, things like that. I've uh, been really supportive of it. So yeah, thank you guys for that. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of the episodes I make and I don't make them boring for you. So the first thing we're going to do today is go over where we left off in the last episode. So in the last episode, we actually managed to hit level 40 on our character. Now we're getting pretty close to getting CP levels, so I'm quite excited for that because CP in the early stages does fly up. So hopefully we'll get 160 quite soon. But yeah, level 40 in the last episode. And also we obviously had some bits and bobs on the trader from last episode, such as the Mother Star Inferno staff. We had some worms and some other bits of bait. And we also had around 11,000 coins. So that's where we were realistically. It was around about, at a push, maybe 70k worth of items and coins on that account. Uh, around about last episode so we're just going to jump into this episode see what's sold what's come back off the trader and see what we're going to be doing today okay guys so just checking my mail there and we can see that we've actually sold a couple of things but not everything has sold so we sold a stack of crawlers we sold one or two of our blue pieces of jewelry we sold the treasure map and we sold a stack of worms so we're up to 25k coins now but we still have stuff on the trader like the mother star and front of stuff so hopefully they'll sell quite soon and we can make a little bit of money there and invest that in other places yeah so again obviously right at the start of the episode just to get out of the way we went and done our ledger main again so this is going to be a daily thing we're going to have to do for at least a couple of episodes just to get i think level 19 ledger main so the reason we need that is so we can have our really high chance of picking a lock by just pressing x and not having to actually sit and fiddle with the locks so yeah, we're back stealing apples and selling them to this Khajiit. So Khajiit is at least going to be healthy. He's getting his five a day every day. But yeah, at the end of today, we're just level six Ledgerman. Um, because we can't go any higher because of our cap, unfortunately. All right, so one of the main things we're going to focus on in this episode is actually going to be our crafting. So first of all, what we're going to do is ask in a guild chat if someone can make us a couple of pieces to research. Um, just, you know, different traits. So we're going to ask in the Chili's guild chat here for some divine species and some bloodthirsty jewelry just to get those researching because those are the you know the main trades you want to have realistically especially at the start yeah so uh very nicely ldg has said he'll do it for us so he's going to give us actually two pieces of infused jewelry and a couple of divine pieces of armor and we're just going to give him around 4k for that because the divine's armor you know it really isn't expensive so generally people don't mind giving you that just for free um, and also we're just paying him for the bloodstones and the jewelry because he's only making like level one pooter jewelry for us so again really inexpensive for him he's just being nice to help us out okay so once we got all that stuff from him what we did is we just went to a couple of crafting stations so these could be anywhere in any part of the world i just happened to go to my main character's house so yeah just researching all these bits and bobs so these are going to take us around about five and a half hours to research and then we can research another item after that um, at the moment i can only research one thing at a time unfortunately because i don't have the passive to research multiple because my skill line's a little bit low but we're actually going to go and try and do something about that right now so generally i would just ask in the guild chat yet again um, if someone can craft me these little bits and bobs but obviously ldg's uh, still online and he helped us with the trade stuff so i just whispered him again to see if he'll help us out again so i just basically asked him if he can make me about four stacks worth of ruby ash inferno staffs at cp 150 and i'm just going to deconstruct them all so obviously he said yes there and we said you know we'd agree on i give him 10k coins for the four stacks of ruby ash basically um that's about what they're worth right now so they're worth about two to three k on xbox so two and a half k is pretty fair i think and he's basically just going to craft us cp 150 infernos um, I've asked them to put them into a guild bank because that's the fastest way of getting them all to me. So you can only trade, I think, five or six items at a time. You don't want to trade him, you know, 10, 20 times. It's going to be really inconvenient for him. So I just said, just throw them in a guild bank and I'll, I'll pull them all out at once for you. So obviously, kindly, he did put them all in. We gave him, obviously, his money and we started deconstructing these um, stuffs. So basically, we got to level 22 woodworking from just deconstructing whatever staffs he gave us. So around about 10k worth. Now remember, it's not a straight 10k because even deconstructing, we were getting bits of wood back. So we probably have a couple of ruby ash pieces in our inventory that we could reuse. And that will save us a bit of gold there. But yeah, guys, this is the best way to level up your crafting skill lines, in my opinion. So it's one of the really cheap ways to do it, to be honest. And it's also one of the fastest ways to do it. You just happen to either need to have a character that has max crafting and you can do this yourself with a guild bank or your own bank. 
or you have to have a friend who's just willing to help you out or someone in a guild chat who is willing to help you out but yeah basically this is this really really cheap and easy way of doing this for you so you can see here obviously um ldg didn't take the 4k from before he's trying to be nice but for the purpose of obviously the, the stream we're trying to get him to take all the money so i just i sent them it back uh, plus the 10k for the wood so big surprise we're back at the zombies trying to get up to you know cp levels so we actually did zombies until around about level 48 i think and then i went and done a random normal dungeon now i ended up in random bloodroot forge which is a little bit more difficult it's a dlc dungeon um i don't have many skills so more or less i was just getting dragged through by these three kind people but uh we did manage to finish it up and we got a lot of xp for it so whenever we killed the final boss here unfortunately we didn't get a motif drop so motifs from here are like around about 10k plus which would have been quite nice for us but uh we were only on normal i suppose so you know it's only a chance to drop and not really guaranteed but yeah after completing this dungeon obviously we got our large chunk of xp for our you know daily random normal dungeon and uh we actually hit level 50 so that was really nice for us so we're now level 50 we're into cp leveling this should fly up um i'm gonna go do more leveling in a little bit but yeah we're level 50 now and obviously we are getting to the point where all our skill lines are almost maxed out so that's quite nice and we also got 10k obviously from just reaching level 50 so that was really good and we also got a flame astronaut crit which i'm going to open here for you um it really didn't have too much in it but we we're going to open it anyway because who doesn't like a little crown crit opening so the only thing we really got there was a little costume from the mages guild um it doesn't look that nice in my opinion but you know it's better than no costume and then we just got some potions so we're just going to move on yeah so basically after we finished that dungeon we just decided we're just going to keep on with the level in front there's not really too much um money making stuff we want to do right now we just kind of want to push the cp 160 so what we've done is we've actually come here to the zombies i'm just going to show you basically the end part of me grinding i'm going to show you like three hours worth of me killing zombies so yeah we finish up here and we're actually going to be around about level 115 cp and that's actually really good so obviously we went in probably a space of about an hour maybe less we went up 115 cp because we literally only hit level 50 during the end of the stream to be quite honest with you so yeah cp leveling right at the start really really fast hopefully we can keep this going and we can get cp 160 in the next episode but for now what we're going to do is do a little recap of where we're at and uh just end the episode right so at the minute obviously yeah we're cp 115 we have 41,000 gold in our inventory at the moment we obviously have some little bits and bobs in our craft bag that we're going to sell but we haven't listed yet and we still have that mother sorrow inferno staff etc on the trader so realistically we're probably sitting around about 100k maybe plus we have obviously got all those levels from our crafting so we've got some research on the bounce and we've got some of our woodworking skill line up so so yeah, overall not too bad of a day kind of just like again like another little bit of a slow day where we're trying to get levels and uh just trying to do a little bit of grindy stuff just to get our cp up and to get our legend up but but yeah i'm pretty excited for the next episode because we will hit cp 160 in the next episode and we will be sort of going on to do some more better money making methods in that episode so yeah, the first three were a little bit slow obviously um this being the last of the three so yeah guys hopefully next episode will mark the end of our leveling up process and you can get some more um exciting content i suppose with actual money making methods and we've been able to you know do everything for myself um at that stage so yeah i'm looking forward to those so if you guys did like this video remember to leave a like on it subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this and also i do stream this over on twitch you can go follow me there'll be a link in the description of this video somewhere but yeah, anyway guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later.